reckless driving defense attorney. I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about the reckless driving statute in Alabama and the process for handling a reckless driving ticket in the state of Alabama and what steps you should take in order to protect your driving record and avoid serious consequences related to your reckless driving charge. We have handled thousands of traffic tickets throughout the state of Alabama over many years. To begin the conversation with us about your reckless driving charge in Alabama, all you have to do is contact our office. You can reach us at 866-348-2889 or you can visit our website alabamareclessdrivingattorney.com. The statute that we are talking about today is 32-5A-190, which is the reckless driving statute in the state of Alabama. What that statute essentially prohibits is any person from driving a vehicle carelessly and heedlessly in willful or wanton disregard for the rights or safety of persons or property or without due caution and circumspection and at a speed or in a manner so as to endanger or be likely to endanger any person or property. And that is the definition of reckless driving in Alabama. And of course the statute says that if someone commits that conduct uh, and it's proven beyond a reasonable doubt in a court, then they will be found uh, guilty of reckless driving. We'll go over section B of the statute in just a, a moment, uh, which goes over the punishment associated with a reckless driving charge. The thing that we need to really focus on here and why it's very important that you have an attorney that handles thousands of traffic tickets and that understands the reckless driving statute and the process to go through when defending these type cases is all of the various loopholes, technicalities, subjective officer opinion that are located within this statute. It is a, a statute that is ripe for interpretation by the officer and of course misinterpretation and uh, there is, is certainly an avenue that can be explored that would allow you to explain conduct in a way that not justifies the behavior completely, but justifies the fact that the behavior may not be as bad as it seemed to start with. A couple of those words that we always look at in every single reckless driving case that we handle is the word carelessly, the word heedlessly, and then also you have in willful or wanton disregard for the rights or safety of persons or property. Those are very, very, very strong words, almost to the point of being intentional, which is a very, very, very high burden under the law. Then you have the or section of the statute, which basically uh, goes over the uh, without due caution and circumspection, and also at a speed or in a manner so as to endanger or be likely to endanger any person or property. So it's not just about speeding. It's not just about a high rate of speed. It's not just about weaving within lanes of traffic in rush hour traffic. It could be that someone's doing 150 miles per hour on the interstate with no passengers and no one uh, out on the road in the middle of the night and that may be found to be not uh, reckless driving. Uh, it's possible that someone could be going 20 miles per hour over the speed limit in a construction zone with workers present and uh, weaving within, within the lane or, or weaving amongst the lanes and that person be found to have, have been dr driving recklessly. The main issue here is this. There are several options that you have on every traffic violation that you receive. Reckless driving is one of the more serious traffic violations that 
uh, requires certainly more attention and more detail than most others because of the number of points that a conviction will carry. A conviction for reckless driving in Alabama will carry a total of six points. You can only get a total of 12 points within a 24 month period and your license will be suspended. So you need to be very careful of just walking into court and pleading guilty on a reckless driving charge because if something occurred and you were charged with another reckless driving offense in the future, in the near future, then it is highly possible that your license would be suspended. And even more so if you had a prior conviction because the chances of someone working with you with a prior reckless driving conviction, of course, uh, would be low. One option is to go into court, plead guilty, pay the ticket. We do not recommend that. The other option would be for you to fight the case, argue that you are not guilty of reckless driving and in fact your conduct was completely lawful. That's one option as well and is, is the trial process. Somewhere in the middle of that is a resolution of the charge that is a win-win for everyone involved that allows the state or the city to prosecute the case and allows you to settle the case in a way that is beneficial to you first and foremost, but also to the state or the city. And that could include a dismissal on condi conditions, it could include uh, a reduction of the charge, it could include uh, a complete dismissal of the charge, it just depends on the facts and circumstances. If you are convicted of reckless driving in Alabama on a first conviction, you could be sentenced from five days, and this is, is per, per the statute is a mandatory minimum, of five days to 90 days, and $25 to $500 or both. Now, most people don't realize that there's a mandatory minimum sentence for jail on a reckless driving charge. However, the statute is silent as to whether that can be suspended, and in fact, most of the time is, depending on the uh, ultimate circumstances. On a second or subsequent offense, and the statute is silent as to this, so one would presume that it goes back a lifetime, you are going to be looking at a sentence of 10 days, up to six months in jail, and a fine of $50 up to $500. Again, the 10 days would be a mandatory minimum, but the statute is silent as it relates to suspension of that jail sentence and what that means is that the judge would enter an order sentencing you to serve 10 days in jail up to six months and that sentence would be suspended and you would be placed on probation for some period of time and of course would in addition to that have to pay the fine and court cost. One other aspect of this statute that is confusing for a lot of people and that, that a lot of folks don't understand is that there's also a provision for the court to enter an order and send that to the Alabama Department of Public Safety suspending a driver's license for up to six months on a reckless driving charge under Alabama Code Section 32-5A-195. This is not an automatic suspension as would be the case if someone was convicted of a drug offense or DUI, driving while suspended, attempting to elude, racing. It is not an automatic suspension of the license. The court would have to order that. And it would be enforced by the Department of Public Safety under 325A195. My name's Joseph Kreps. I'm an Alabama reckless driving defense attorney. We handle thousands of traffic tickets throughout the state of Alabama and we can help you. All you have to do to begin the conversation with our office is call us. We'll be glad to talk to you. We believe that you have the right to speak to an attorney and discuss your case and go through the steps that we might take in assisting you with your case without having to pay a consultation fee. You can reach us at 866-348-2889.
or you can visit our website, alabamarecklessdrivingattorney.com or trafficticketattorneyinalabama.com. Do not walk into court by yourself without a qualified traffic attorney and plead guilty to a reckless driving charge. That is the worst possible decision that you could make related to your charge of reckless driving in Alabama. You have options and you need to know those options going into it so that you do not walk in and plead guilty and end up with a sentence that is detrimental to you currently or that prevents you from obtaining employment in the future or that possibly suspends your driver's license. It is not worth it and there are other options available to you. Pleading guilty to reckless driving in Alabama is not your only option. Again, you can reach us at 866-348-2889. Thank you very much.